Hey guys, welcome to my February tea time video. Today I'm taking things a little bit on a different route and I'm gonna be sharing a few recipes here on this video and then I'm also gonna send you over to my blog where I share a couple of different craft and science experiments to do if you are wanting to do a Valentine's class party, a little homeschool Valentine's tea time. We always find some fun Valentine's Day crafts and activities and science projects every year. And so I thought that I would do a whole blog post on what we did this year and then share a couple of resources that we've used in years past. So the first recipe I'm sharing with you is super simple and it is just a sweet and salty Cupid crunch. And for this, you just need some popcorn, some pretzels, a bag of white chocolate chips, and then sprinkles, little candies. I used M&Ms and sprinkles, but you could totally mix in whatever you want just to make it a little bit more festive. So if you have a microwave, you can totally melt these white chocolate chips in your microwave according to the directions on the bag. I don't have a microwave, so I just do these over a double boiler and it only takes a minute. And then I just mix it in with the popcorn and the pretzels. You can do less popcorn and pretzels to make it really candy coated, or you can do more to just kind of add a little bit of sweetness, which is what I do. Then I spread it all out on a baking sheet that's lined with wax paper and just sprinkle the M&Ms and the sprinkles on top. I just let it dry for a few minutes and then it just crumbles right into a bowl. And this is one of my kids' favorite snacks. We do this for every holiday, so we'll just change up the sprinkles or change up the candies and it works for every single holiday. Chocolate covered strawberries are a must when it's Valentine's Day. And again, you can just follow the package directions on your chocolate chips. I prefer milk chocolate chips for chocolate covered strawberries. But again, since I don't have a microwave, I just did this over a double boiler. Just take the strawberries, dunk them right in that chocolate. I like to leave the strawberries sitting out at room temperature so that the cold strawberries don't harden up the chocolate as I'm dipping it in and mess it up for the next few strawberries that I dip. I also like to make sure that the strawberries are very dry and were not just washed, otherwise the chocolate will not stick to the strawberries. But this one is really easy and it's always a crowd pleaser. You could add some chopped nuts or some mini chocolate chips or some cookie crumbs on top. But because my kids are young, a few sprinkles adds the festive touch and we can move on with the rest of our tea time. And then of course, there are so many sweet treats and ideas out there for Valentine's Day. So anything can be cut into a heart shape. I didn't wanna go and overdo it on this video because I'm sure you guys have a ton of Valentine's recipes up your sleeve. If not, I'm sure that you guys have taken a heart shaped cookie cutter to a sandwich and called it a day, which is what I did here. Just a heart shaped cookie cutter. We did some cheese and crackers. The kids were stoked about it and it was just that simple. If you wanna see what we are doing here with these fun little projects we've got going on, make sure you go to my blog post below and check out the nature craft we did, little science activity we did, and then some of the math games we played last year. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I would love if you would share on social media and tag me if you make any of these treats or do any of these activities. I would love to see that and share that on my Instagram and my Facebook as well. I will see you guys soon. Bye.